Hey guys, so I thought I would do just a little video, kind of a fun video. I know I always do videos of um, me and my journey to um, conceiving um, pregnancy tests, ovulation tests, I always do videos on that. So I thought I would do kind of something fun. Um, I was cleaning up my closet today and I came across one of my drawers in my closet that has some things that I have bought within the last year or so, um, baby things that, you know, I saw and I was like, I have to have this for my future baby. I don't know if any of you do that out there, any of you trying to conceivers out there. Um, I don't know if you guys do that, if you see something and you're like, I have to have that, so you buy it. Um, I don't know, it's probably bad luck. Some people say it's bad luck. Um, I see it as something super cute and if I don't have a boy or a girl or a baby to give any of these things to, I can always give it to someone else who has a baby. So these are just things that I kind of hold on to um, in hopes to give to my baby one day. So I just kind of wanted to show you guys what I have and what I've got. Um, it's all pretty much girl stuff. Um, girl stuff is just cute. And I mean, I have I have a onesie that could totally be for a boy. And I have a sister-in-law that has bought me a few things that's totally for a girl. So, um, yeah, I thought I'd show you guys what I have. Um, Target always has the cutest baby things. And I, I, I love Target. I'm always going to Target. And I always kind of just walk by it. And I look at their seasonal stuff for babies. They always have the cutest little Easter dresses. And I... Trust me, I do look at boy stuff too. I I would take a boy or a girl, but I, I just, seeing the girl things are just so cute, you have to buy them. So um, yeah, I always see cute boy things too, but some of these girl things are just too cute. I could not pass them up. So this is one of the things. It's a little watermelon bathing suit. It's so cute. It's so cute. I had to get it. It's so adorable. Um, it's nine to six or six to nine months, and it's a little watermelon. It's like all ruffled, right here. So sh oh, it's just so cute. I had to buy it. So yeah, I own this. <laughs> and then there's another little bathing suit that I had to get. It's like a little one piece, like crisscrosses in the back. Has little polka dots on it. Little ruffles. Like I had to buy it. I bought this like three years ago. And it actually was supposed to be for my friend's little girl, but I never, she ended up moving away and I was never able to give this to her. So I kept it and I'm like, this is so cute. I will add this to my little baby collection. So yeah, those are two of the things that I have. Um, another thing that I got is this little Dumbo, little blankie. It's the little blankets that have like the silk and then it's so soft. And then it has a little Dumbo stuffed animal at the top. Growing up, Dumbo was like my favorite. I love the movie. I love Dumbo. Um, and it's one of the Disney movies that I watch still to this day. And it just takes me back to my childhood. So I had to have something that was Dumbo for my future baby. Um, just because it's something that means a lot to me. And it's so adorable. And if you guys could feel how soft, it's just so so soft. So this is one of the purchases I had to make. I, I got this in New York City the beginning of this year. I was in this little like gift shop in New York City um, JFK Airport and I was just going through everything and I always kind of go to the little baby sections because everything's so cute. You can't help but go over there and just like look. And I went over there and I saw this little thing. That was, I told my husband, I'm like, I have to get this. I have to get this. He's like, no, that's bad luck. We're not getting this. And I like was super sad leaving and he went back and surprised me and got this for me. So this could totally be for a boy or a girl also. It's very um, neutral. So yeah, I had to get this. So that's that one. And then my sister-in-law, she got me this little, it's like a little rattle bunny rabbit. Super cute. Um, she found it. It has organic cotton. My sister-in-law is very healthy. She's very green. So, um, yeah, she saw this. I think they were in Colorado. And she's like, I have to get this for Stacy. So, obviously, for a girl. 
Um, so yeah, she got me that, super cute. And then she also got me a bib, this really soft like fabric bib with a little birdie on it. I thought it was really cute. It's another organic cotton. Um, so yeah, that's really cute. And this we got last year, we went to Boulder, Colorado, and my husband loves beer. He um, goes to breweries all around the world, anywhere we're at, he has to go to the brewery there and he has to get a beer and he has to get some kind of glass or something that says the brewery name on it. And if you go to the, into our kitchen, you'll see we have hundreds of glasses from random breweries. So we went to this brewery called Avery Brewery. If you're into beer, you'll, you know what Avery is. It's really good beer. Um, Avery is one of my most favorite names. So, um, I won't reveal to you guys what I have. Well, yeah, I'll save it for another video. I'll let you guys know the names that I have picked out for, that I've always had picked out for my babies, but, um, my future babies. But, uh, Avery is the middle name if I have a girl. So, and I'd always decided that for so long, I love the name Avery, not because of this brewery. I just love the name Avery. So we went to this brewery and I was like, oh my gosh, I love the name. That's the name I want to name our baby one day, the middle name. So when we were there, I was looking through the little gift shop and they had an Avery little onesie and it's pink, obviously. I got pink. <laughs> um, so yeah, I thought that was adorable and I had to get that. So that was one of the first things I got. Um, this I got a couple weeks ago. We have really cool vintage shops in the town that I live in, like really cool antique shops. And they have this little section, one of the antique shops that have like old, um, antique vintage, like baby clothes. And I was going through it and they had the most beautiful dresses. I almost bought like five dresses. They were so beautiful, like really frilly, gorgeous, like Easter style dresses. And I almost got them. But I'm like, no, I'm not going to go that far. I don't need to, I don't need to get that. So I ended up getting this cute little like fiesta Spanish dress. It probably would fit like a one year old little girl, but it's so cute. How cute is that? And it's really well made. The fabric is very like just good quality. So I had to get this, this was like $10 I think. And it's like embroidered if you show, it's like handmade. So I had to get this. That's one of my things, of course, for a girl. Um, Lastly, something that we got on our trip when we were in Seattle this last weekend, we were in the airport and we went into the store. And as you know, Seattle's a huge music town. So, you know, Nirvana came from Seattle. All kinds of big bands have come from Seattle. Um, and my husband is huge into music, huge into Nirvana. He loves Nirvana. Um, so... <laughs> We were at this music store in the in the um, airport, and we saw this, and he's like, I need this, I need this, I have to have this. I love Nirvana onesie. So yeah, I let him make this purchase. He's like, it's the first thing I want to buy for our future baby, and it could be, be for a boy or a girl, because it's very generic, so I'm like, okay, you can get it. So yeah, that was the one we made a um, couple, couple days ago. So that's all my stuff that I've got. I just kind of want to share it with you guys. I, I got it out and I'm like, oh, I should do a video on this. And that way I can maybe go back and look at this video and, um, you know, maybe my future baby will be wearing some of these things. Um, so yeah. Anyways, I just want to share with you guys that, um, there's really no news yet about, um, anything. I, ha I can't test until this Saturday for my pregnancy test. I did uh, one yesterday because I had told you before my first video, my video before this one, that um, I had gotten those positive pregnancy tests because of the trigger shot. So I've been doing them and they're kind of fading away, but they're still there. So the line's still there. There's still a second line on all the pregnancy tests. They're not really fading away. So I don't know if it's a sign that, because I mean, it should be out of my system by now. They say the trigger shot should be in your system within nine days and I'm on day 12 of my cycle. So if it's still showing a line, maybe it's picking up on something, I don't know. But I will do for sure a live pregnancy test this Saturday for you guys so you guys can be there and see my reaction. Hopefully it's a positive. 
Mm -hmm. So I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.